In this video, we will be learning about the operators and the logical expressions used in the Unity C Sharp. Basically, operators and the logical expressions are the second most part that you need to understand because if you are doing it wrong, you are basically you can say that it is the most important part after the data types. If you are uh, using them incorrectly, then it is a human error. And well, the these things are included in the human error and it the compiler doesn't show the syntax error so that's why it's very tricky to uh, manipulate or to get past them if you know if you have the correct knowledge about them you can simply knowledge about them you can simply get past them and you can simply master them so basically let's move on to the operators so operators are basically the foundation of any programming language uh, the functionality of c sharp language is incomplete without the use of operators Operators basically allow us to perform different kind of operations on operands like uh, uh, They can be categorized based upon their different functionalities Like uh, if you're using if else and you're using and operator is equal to operator plus operator minus operator Multiply operator divide operator. These are all types of operator that when combined make a whole program without these operators you cannot uh, make a or uh, you cannot uh, complete a program without these operators because whenever there is a condition required these operator came in and you need to go through them so if you cannot understand these operators you cannot go on to the learning uh, programming language because these operators are the most important part so in this video we will be learning about the arithmetic operator and the relational operator and the logical operator and assignment operator too we will be not learning about the bitwise and bitwise operator. In this, we will only be learning about arithmetic relation, assignment, and condition. So let's move on to the arithmetic operator. In the arithmetic operator, basically there are arithmetic operators are uh, categorized into following addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and modulus. Uh, let me give you a uh, short example about this like uh, you have integer a is equal to 2 and integer b is equal to 2 so debug dot log so we are using a unity that's why I am writing debug dot log so in this I will be writing a plus b so it will simply provide the result b what the result is waiting for it to update and uh, I think it's updated and you can simply see that here the result is 4 so basically it is a plus operator you can simply go down there and change it with the multiply or change it uh, with the minus and change it with the divides these are the four basic type of arithmetic operator after that we came into the unary operator. Unary operator are those operators which have only one type of value. It can be an increment or it can be a decrement. So basically in the increment we use double plus like uh, we want like here is the value a is equal to 2 and we are using the unary operator of arithmetic. It's called the uh, increment operator like this. The value will be changing to 3. Like this, uh, this is called post increment. Let me tell you about the post increment. Its value is preserved temporarily until the execution of this statement and it's get updated before the execution of next statement. Like if I am performing some task and I, I am doing uh, this kind of function here, it will simply give me the answer. Uh, it will simply uh, update it after the task has been performed. Like you can see that here whenever I click on the uh, play button here. You can see the value is 2. Why I am not getting the 3? Because it is a post increment. The increment is done but it is done after the program has run. So to uh, you know avoid this kind of situation use the pre increment uh, like this. Pre increment does uh, it is placed before the variable name like the variable name is a and its value is incremented instantly and you can see the output. I am saving it. And you can simply see the output here. Wait a second. You can simply see the output 3. So while in the post increment it was giving 2 but it was incremented later on because the program first uh, display it then at increment and that increment is done for the next when the program is run. So 
this is the increment operator and another unary operator in arithmetic operators they are the decrement operator in this it work like same but it decrease the value like it is a pre decrement and it is a post decrement so it works like same but uh, while you are using the decrement operator it changes the value to from 2 to 1 so these are the basic arithmetic operators now let's move to the relational operator relational operator are the you know building block of the if else while any conditional loop any condition statement that you are using uh, they are using the relational operators or uh, equal to or these are all the relation operator uh, relational operators uh, look in this double equal to it checks what this double equal to does is that uh, it come into relational operator it you can see that it will say that I will uh, make a program like uh, if condition a is equal is equal to 2 then it will what print the debug dot log true okay so this is the equal equal to operator uh, what it does is that this operator checks whether the two given operand are equal or not in this case a is one operand and two is the other operand if it is not true it returns if it's true it returns the true otherwise it returns false for example i'm uh, let's see what happens i'm going to uh, wait for it to update and then i'm going to you can see that it's saying the true now let's change the value and put the three here You can see that there is no output because it is not going into that if loop because of that equal to operator. Now move on to the not equal to operator here. I simply the syntax of the not equal to operator is simply put this uh, uh, exclamation, exclamation mark and equal to and then if uh, this thing is not equal to 3 then it will go and say it is false. wait for it to update and then let's see look at that it is saying false so this is the not equal to operator next on we are going to the greater than operator what greater than you can simply provide this is equal to a greater than 3 it will go in there in this but it will not because a is smaller than that is the greater than operator then it's the, then the less than is also same like that and then another one came greater than equal to if it is equal to or greater than then it will uh, what it does is that this operator check whether the first operand is greater than or equal to to the second number here and then it returns true otherwise it returns the false and the same is for the less than equal to it check that whether the operand is uh, smaller than or equal to this number here or uh, then it uh, returns true whether otherwise it returns false so basically these are the relational operators let's move on to the logical operators so logical operators contain logical AND, OR and NOT. First of all, let me explain you about the logical AND operator. The logical AND, the syntax of the logical AND is that you can simply write A and B. Well, this is uh, double AND is used for the logical AND operator. What it does is that the operator returns true when both the condition like if you're using the if A uh, is equal is equal to 2 and b is equal is equal to 2 then you will simply I will simply write uh, debug dot log uh, proof so what it will do uh, what this thing is doing is that it uh, returns true when both the condition in consideration are satisfied if both the condition if like let me give you an example here while running this code you can simply see that uh, it is giving me the answer here true but whenever I change one equation and I put here b is equal to 3 and now the value of the b has changed and it is not satisfying the condition of that operator it will give me an opposite result and there will be no result here because it is not going into this if loop so what 
what does its uh, what does the double and does is that it simply returns when these both condition are true if these both condition are not true it doesn't go into this if loop then there is a logical or operator logical or operator is denoted by these symbols uh, these lines here logical operator is like if this is equal to 2 or this is equal to 2 then if any uh, is uh, these both the uh, one of the both conditions are true then it simply goes into this if loop if both are true then definitely it is going in but it uh, works with if one of it it is true that's why so let me give you an example here Now you can see that it is true because uh, it's saying it's true but the b is not equal to 3 not equal to 2 but b is equal to 3 but it is going in and showing us the true because of that 2 here so that's why the what does it does is that uh, it checks uh, when one or both of the condition is uh, satisfied otherwise it return false you can uh, see that from here i have to stop it the next is the not not operator is basically it returned true condition uh, when it is uh, not satisfied and it returned false when it is uh, true or it is satisfied so let me tell you give you an example a is not two a is not uh, let's say that equal to two okay now this thing should shouldn't go into this because a is equal to 2 so the answer will be nothing here because uh, this uh, if loop is not uh, working right now because uh, for that uh, because of that not you can see that there is no output here so basically this is how this not works so these are the logical operators now let's move to the assignment operators the assignment operators are used to assign a value to a variable the left side of the very uh, operand of assignment operator is a variable and the right side is the value the assignment this the simple assignment operator is denoted by a simple equal to this is a simple assignment operator this equal to here is a simple assignment operator what it is doing is that it is saving this two into this variable so it is uh, there is a memory block uh, and in that memory block the number 2 is saved and reserved for the variable a then there comes the add assignment so what does the add assignment do is simply add like uh, let me give you an example debug dot log a plus is equal to 2 what it will do it will uh, add the current value and then it will uh, store the value into the a let me uh, a is equal to a, a is equal to plus is equal to 2 so what it will do is that it will uh, add the value it will add uh, the current value of the variable uh, to the left and then assign the result uh, on the left also what i am saying is that you can simply see that the value should be equal to uh, 4 so then there is a subtract in this you can simply write this and the value will equal e the value will be equal to 0 because it is subtracting the 2 from itself and uh, you can see that it is 0 and then there comes the multiply assignment operator the multiply is a combination of multiply and equal operator it simply works like the it simply works equal as it was uh, working for the plus it will simply first multiply it and then save it to the current value so it the answer should be equal to 4 because uh, yeah equal to 4 so if it was a is equal to let's see 10 then the answer will be equal to 100 because it is multiplying itself by itself yeah uh, sorry at uh, sorry uh, yeah is equal to when I write 10 here then it then it will be equal to 100 yeah so basically what it will be doing is that it will be multiplying this number with this one here and then saving the value to the a 
the dvn and the modulus assignments are equally same and it is your assignment to uh, do it yourself i have uh, stored the syntax in the powerpoint and i will be providing that powerpoint in the resource option so basically these are the logical operators that are used uh, while you are doing some sort of conditional statement or some sort of uh, loops in the unity c sharp now we will be moving on to the for loops while loops and for each loops uh, in the unity so if uh, there's any misconception in the operator and if there's anything that you need to know i will be putting some sort of powerpoint presentation in the resource section and uh, exemplary uh, code in the but that code will uh, be running in the console application not in the unity c sharp because that console application uh, like here it simply provide the output uh, on the black screen over here so I'll be putting the, uh, these PowerPoint presentations into the resource, but if uh, you have something, some any questions, you can simply feel free to ask me. Now moving to the loops, and loops are the, basically the most important part. 